Hi, it's Stephen here from Ted's World of Imaging, getting you educated about developing your own photographic style. For many people, leaving the camera on automatic or using a phone is enough. It does what they want. A quick happy snap of the moment that just flew by. What if you want more? What if you want your images to express how you felt in that moment or the character of where you are? What if you want your photographs to show that intangible thing that made that moment something special? That requires a bit extra. It requires your expression, your character and feelings to be represented. It requires you as a photographer to decide how this photograph is going to be. Photography is a powerful tool, from capturing a moment, to representing the character of a person or a thing, to telling a story, to starting a revolution or changing a social attitude. Photography is much more than just clicking the button. Photography is about the expression of the photographer. How do you go from being an image taker to a photographer? Here are five tips to help you develop your own photographic style. Number one, explore the technical. Leaving your camera on auto means you are missing out on building yourself a photographic toolkit of things like composition, lighting and shadow and colour. Tools like depth of field and image blur help to make your photographs represent what you actually saw in the moment. Light and shadow are important ways of expressing mood and character as well. These tools are ignored in an automatic world. So do some training and understand that photographers take images, not cameras. You are in charge of how your photograph looks and feels. Number two, explore the artistic. Lots of people when they talk about photography talk about rules, rules of composition, rules of lighting, etc. Things are a great place to start and understand, but they are not the answer to the question of how to express what you want in a photograph. Other artistic mediums such as drawing, painting, even literature can inspire you and give you ideas of the character you wish to express in your photograph. Using the technical tools you've learned about earlier, you can now explore colour and light in a way that you actually perceive them. Explore the art of photography and discover a very powerful medium for expression. Number three, collect a series of photographs. While one photograph can be powerful, a series of photographs are more so. Try exploring a topic by telling a story in photographs. Let the people looking at the photographs understand how that moment felt, what it was for, and how it progressed. Tell a story by showing the key moments or key attributes of your subject. Number four, pre-visualize. Being in the moment and blazing away with your camera to capture what is unfolding in front of you is certainly one part of photography. Another is to take photographs that have been pre-planned or pre-visualized. Work out what you like by looking online or in magazines and noting the tools and attributes those photographers used and which ones you actually like. Then work out how the photographer achieved this using the technical tools you've learnt about. The next step is to go and try and reproduce those techniques and outcomes for yourself. Over time you'll develop a toolkit of techniques that you will like and you will develop your own style. Number five, develop self-critique. One of the important parts of improving a photography is self-critiquing your photographs, asking yourself how could you improve it and make it more represent what your intention was and how to make it feel like when you were actually there. Re-evaluating your photograph becomes a continuous improvement program. Every time you do it, you notice the steps you are making towards how you want your photographs to be. Photography is much more than just the technical operation of a camera. It is the operation of the camera in such a way as to represent the wishes of the person behind it with your character, the feelings and attributes and even the ideology evident in the photographs it records. Want to know more? Head to tens.com.au slash blog or keep updated by subscribing to Ted's on YouTube or following Ted's on Instagram at Ted's underscore cameras for all the latest education. You can also join Club Ted to stay updated on the latest news and content as well as be eligible for all Club Ted only offers. See you soon.